I just hosted the biggest Dragon's Dogma fashion contest of all time. Probably, I, I didn't bother verifying. With 294 participants, the Arisens with the trippiest trip were rewarded with a free copy of Dragon's Dogma 2, provided by yours truly. Participants had to post an image of their Arisen and their pawn to enter. Submissions were open for a month and we got hundreds of entries, but only three were entitled to a free DD2 copy. After submissions closed, myself and three other moderators picked our top three favourite outfits. The 12 chosen outfits entered the finals, in which all server members could vote for who they thought looked best. 12 finalists, three winners. Tis a drip or drown world out there arisen. Their fates were left up to the members of my Discord server. In 12th place, at 22 votes, we've got Lei Win Frin. Lanius with a goblin duo setup. It's a shame that more people didn't vote for them because their fashion sense was genuinely good. Wearing a Farseer's cap, Hellfire cloak, golden lion padding, superior quizzes, and gloves of might of all things, this strider goblin has matched a seemingly random assortment of armor to make one cohesive piece. The crystals from gloves of might, the golden armor, and glistening heaven's key show that this is a goblin of wealth and status. As for this arisen's pawn, we have a red goblin just like the ones that appear in game. This fighter gobbo is clearly cut from a different cloth, you can tell from his mustache. Wearing crimson chimeric, tattered mantle, sinner's gauntlets, and immortal sabatons, this goblin doesn't look quite as good as his master, but I had no idea immortal sabatons match so well with crimson chimeric. In 11th place, at 26 votes, we have a submission from Lord Vivek themselves with an orc and goblin duo. Both goblin submissions were second and last place in the voting. No W's for goblin kind today. Our goblin arisen is wearing some rather savage attire, with barbarian's chief helm, bone armor, blessed sleeves, and dragon beard greaves. This shieldless mystic knight is going for the dogs out strategy. Crescending Roar compliments the barbaric outfit very nicely. Then we've got Cowman himself, rocking a modified Eliminator's fit. Persecutor's mask, dragon leather vest, golden belt, burnished braces, and carmine breeches make for an oddly sophisticated Eliminator look. Placing 10th in the voting, we're finally seeing some humans with a submission from LDK Super Dante. We've got a bit of black like Custa Duo setup going on here, with Carrion and Grave sets. The Magic Archer Arisen uses the bandages and short pants inner clothing items, while her pawn is using alchemic inner clothing. High-end bit of black armors are typically not used in fashion, but this is a cute way to pair both outfits together. Also, her pawn is wearing abyssinal greaves, which can only be gotten from the online Ur Dragon. Since most players can't be bothered to farm it, she gets bonus points for featuring such a rare armor piece. Up in ninth place, we've got a ranger and strategy by Splofanks. The ranger utilizes the emissary armor, a chest piece that crackles with lightning, and combines it with lion's spine. While the metal tints are different, the layering is pretty similar between the two, so they go oddly well together. Nebula cape is an underrated classic, and the oblivion boots are honestly not bad. They match very well with the cape. The blue tones of the gambeson inner clothing helps bring the other blues together. The stratopawn goes for browns over blues, with mercenary slogs, an excellent leg armor choice followed by what looks to be hard leather plate inner clothing combined with the Vagabond armor. The Feral Cape is a great choice for any brown leather based outfit. Then in 8th place we've got another bit of black caster duo with two sorcerers, submitted this time by Scene Chostick. The last three outfits were all picked by Larry, one of my mods. He really likes mage women, in case you can't tell. The Arisen is starting off strong with an adept hat, a classic caster fashion choice followed by Adept's Mantle, Hard Leather Plate, Carrion Robes, Grave Claws, and Hinterland Waste Guard. Meanwhile, the Pawn uses the Grave Set, aside from the Veil being Carrion, and pairs it with the Adept's Mantle, Noble Woman's Core Set, and Short Pants. In 7th place, at 48 votes, we have a Fighter and Sorcerer submission by Frog Legs. The Fighter is donning a Grand Surcoat, Ancient Bangles, Silver Cuirass, and Silver Hosen, or is it Full Chain Hosen? Not sure. For underclothing, accompanied by the Chainmail Skirt. His sword is the Golden Bastard, so he can shut up his Sorcerer Pawn whenever needed, which matches with the golden trimming of Featherlight Pelter, as well as the golden belts on the Grand Surcoat. Serena, the Sorcerer Pawn, does a great job at subtly matching colors as well, matching the golden belts from Crimson Robe, Ancient Circlet, and Apostate's Anklet with the Solar Providence Arch Staff. Her primary color is obviously red, accompanied by brown from Leather Chest Guard, Harpy Cloak, and Leather Bandings. I didn't actually realize this till now, but she also has her dogs out, Bold Move Frog Legs. These two outfits are spectacular and I'm very biased since I nominated them myself. Moving on, we have Goblinoid at 6th place with 56 votes. The outfit seems simple at first, but the colour coordination is insane. Chimeric Halfplate and Gauntlets match with the darker terms of Malorian Greaves and Martial Braces. I reckon Hard Leather Plate would have looked great with this too. Feral Cape brings not only the darker tones together, but its golden chain complements the golden metal pieces on the Chimeric Armor as well as the Laurel Circlet. This warrior is using the Devil's Nail Warhammer, which matches the established darker tones. Truly an armor combination I will consider stealing in the future. I had no idea the Bandit's Mask looked so good with the Direwolf Cape until 
now, even matching with the silver and bows colours. For our browns, we have Leather Protector, Iron Manike, and Nimble Quisses. In 5th place, we have a Warrior and Strider duo submitted by Daedalus Fininsky, sitting at 66 votes. What really pushed me over the edge when it came to nominating this one was the fact that they used Ericles. Starting off, we have Dragon Knight's Helm, which I'm surprised we didn't see more of. The Gold Smash with Ericles and even the Immortals Braces and Padded Gambeson. The Sultry Pareo is an uncommon choice for warrior fashion, but it goes great with the Padded Gambeson and Mahogany Cape. Then we've got the Immortal Sabatons to match the rest of the grey metal pieces together. This thumbnail-worthy Ranger Pawn seems like a Barbarian at first, with the Direwolf Veil and Cape, Silver Chest Plate and Chest Guard, Trophy Braces, Trophy Boots, and Delta Guard for a consistent white colour scheme. The Frame Blades even feel right at home in this outfit, easily one of my personal favourite submissions. In fourth place we have a Shrek and Fiona cosplay submitted by Vasco, it got 83 votes. The mod who nominated this one was Spied and I'm considering a demotion. Shrek is wearing Traveler's vest, linen shirt, evening tights, and leather shoes. Fiona is wearing bone plate armor and foreign waist guard. We're now entering the top three submissions, and these are the lucky bastards who got a free copy of Dragon's Dogma 2. In third place, we have Gus at 88 votes. The Arisen is wearing a Dragon's Eye Band, Dire Wolf Veil, Leather Chest Guard, Skull Belt, Master's Braces, Thick Fur Greaves, and White Stockings, which I will admit is a curious choice. The lighter tones go great with the Dwells in Light Greatsword. Not only is it one of the best looking weapons in the game, but it's also very rare, requiring you to get a contribution reward from the online Ur Dragon, and even then you're not guaranteed it. Gus this pawn is a chattified Mercedes. She overcame her bleating she goat arc and has returned with a six pack, wearing a lordly cloak, hard leather plate, weak guard, griffith gauntlets, and griffith creeves. Mercedes has a more knightly vibe to her than her arisen. And using a devil's bane sword and dread aspis shield, Mercedes is more than strong enough to beat Julian's ass this time around. Congrats on winning a copy of DD2, Gus. I hope your friend enjoys the game. In second place, we have a submission from Marcosius, sitting at 97 votes. Combining the Alchemic and Sultry sets, this Ranger and Strider duo are a team of red mini ninjas. I also like how the Arisen matches the red tones with the Dragon's Eye shortbow, while the Ranger contrasts with the blue Dragon's Glaze. Congrats on second place, Marcosius. Have fun playing DD2 on launch day. Before we get into first place, let's quickly go through some honorable mentions. These outfits were some of my all-time favorites, but I could only pick three for the nominations. TPEM's outfit stuck out to me a lot, and it was a hard choice picking between theirs and my other nominations. We're finally on to first place, and this submission won by a landslide. With more than twice as many votes as second place, Seat comes in first with 202 votes. They only posted a single image, and it still swept the competition. Starting off with their warrior pawn, using a bitter and longsword, we have a grizzly skull helm, dark leather plate, sovereign's mantle, golden belt, carmine breeches, and black leather gloves. This random assortment of equipment comes together perfectly. The gold goes with gold, the white with white, black with black. Moving on to the Arisen, Seek starts off strong by exploiting the dogs out meta. Just like their pawn, Seek's Arisen is made up of individual armor pieces and no matching set. But you could have told me that this was a matching set and I'd be none the wiser were enough for the fact that playing this dumbass game is my job. With Celestial Armor as the base, the gold tones are brought together using Burnished Braces, Laurel Circlet, Apostate's Anklet, and Golden Bastard. There's also added dynamism to their pose, as Seek had to make sure their pawn was doing the dusting off animation, while their Arisen had just finished performing Compass Slash. Getting pawns to pose for the camera is a grueling task, so props to Seek for pulling off such an incredible shot. Congrats on placing first Seek. In this triple drown world, you chose to ride the waves. Enjoy your deluxe edition copy of DD2. A special thanks to all Arisens who participated in this fashion contest. With DD2 just around the corner, I look forward to the drip you guys cook up. Before I go, the first place winner seek asked that I show off my own outfit in this video, so I'd like to present my pawn chonk lord in his go-to strider outfit. He looks absolutely fantastic with his arms out, and the archer culottes make me weak in the knees. My Arisen is a bit of a special case, so I ask that you all prepare yourselves, for I have used her to invent a new type of fashion. First, you make a tall, tomboy barbarian. Make sure she's attracted to women, then you give her jeans. It's a brand new aesthetic I call Lesbarian Core. Combining the best of butch lesbians and barbarians, this new fashion style is sure to shake the world harder than a well-landed arc of obliteration. I should stop here, lest my drip flood the world. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And special thanks to my patrons for funding the prizes for this competition. You guys are quite literally the best, and I hope to see you in whatever the next Dragon's Dogma video is.